My, my name is Obo Adi. I didn't know Joe Kelly, but he, he came from Liberia. He went to Liberia in, in the beginning of the 40s uh, with some musicians to perform there. You know, so he was there, and he came by. He was there for about 10 years, he came by. And he was um, late 40s, and as, that's when somebody said he was forming a band. Then, then I went, and he said, well, I know your brothers. He said that, I said, you know, I said, then he was, his age, like, he was about 38 years old, 40, 38 years old. And some of my brothers were the same age, in the 40s. And, and he said, um, I know you can play drum. I don't want anybody who plays, you know, that you can play Cuban samba or anything like that. I want somebody who have ideas that you can take your father's drumming thing and put it into what we're playing. Can you do that? I said, oh, yeah, I can try. Joe said, okay, uh, he called a song and said, let's play. Uh, first he gave me the bongos to tune. Uh, and he gave it to me and he said, tune it. I can't find a key. And he said, I thought you said you played one before. And I said, the one I play has been already tuned. And everybody started laughing. I think they, they knew that I was lying. So he showed me how to tune it. And and I, I didn't even, I was, I was nervous. I didn't tune it. And the high I wanted it. I was in a hurry. So I tuned and they called a song and we started playing. And this guy who brought his own drum was the conga player. And my cousin Charles Kennedy, he's, he's been playing with him already. So he was the trap drummer. And then we play on play. And those days when he, he wanted to throw his hand for, we call it rhythm solo. Everybody play together like our traditional music. You got to listen to an answer. And that's what, I, when we, they started, I thought they would wait and one person would play, would play, would play, and then another. No, everybody play together. And that's when I said they have come to my country. Now, if that's what they want, you know, I can listen to everybody, listen to the trap drummer, and I play, I play, I play, I play. And then the, the kuma player too was very good. And then uh, I started rolling, rolling. I started rolling, 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 rolling. And then the kuma player also started playing some off bass. So I, I can't get back into the time. You know, I was rolling, my shoulder hurt, my wrist getting stiff. And he also playing guru 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 But he look at me and he stopped playing. I stopped playing. He stretched his hand and I stretched and we shook hands and we all started playing. We listened to the trap drummer and we started playing. Now everybody stopped clapping. Joe Kelly stopped the band and he said, okay. He gave us a, a bow tie and a sh white shirt, some for rice shirt. I still remember with his stiff chest. So for us to go find our own pants, and I, I didn't have a pants. But, you know, I, I can find our own pants and shoes. I have shoes, but it has a hole in it. I, we, I went home and I went into my brother's room and I took a new pants that he hasn't wore at all that Saturday afternoon, took it to a tailor, and of course he, he was way bigger than me, and destroyed his pants, making it small of my size. I didn't tell him. My friend did the same. His brother was going to a wedding, so he knew a new suit. He pulled the pants out of that and, and gave it to a tailor and made it small. So now we went to the gig, you know, where and, you know, Joe Kelly put us in front because they never seen two young people playing drum like that. Then 
then uh, now I can't, I cannot, I cannot go home. And he can, and I didn't know that he did that. But we all giving excuses, so let's go. Let's, we went to another club, you know. And well, because we're wearing suit and things like that, and we're wearing pants and tie, they would let us in. So we went to a place called Lido, you know. And we get there and say, Joe Kelly, they would say, oh, come in. Yeah. And, and we were there till about five o'clock in the morning. And then, uh, and then uh, we, we left. We don't know where we're going. And I said, well, let's go to your house. He said, oh, no, 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 no. We, we can't go to my house. Uh, but, but, you know, uh, I, I, I don't want to go to my house. I said, why? So I start thinking, well, what did he do? He said, well, let's go to your house. I said, I don't want to go to my house. He said, why? I said, I don't know. He said, did you do what I'm thinking you did? I said, yeah. She, she, she took your brother's pants. I said, oh my God, we are in trouble. You know, we're like, we can go to one house if you didn't have trouble in there. But we all have trouble in our house. <laughs> so when we did a, some trick, and he sent me to his house. When I went there, his brother had a bottle of gin with a machete by it. <laughs> and his, his mother was was yelling at him, you're gonna kill him? He's your brother, kill him. He said, why did he ask me? He's a thief, and thief should be punished. He, the brother was drunk, saying that. And when I got there, he looked at me, hey, won't you be, you know, my father was, a, they call him Wonche, the father of the priest, be my son. So, father of the priest's son. Yeah. So, won't you be, come here. You and your friend, you are all thieves. Maybe you, you steal your brother's pants too. I said, no, no, no. Did he steal your pants? He said, would you ask him? You know it. You know it. And he, he took the machete and ran out. <laughs> and I went to him. I said, well, your brother have a machete. You want to kill him? He said, oh, no, he's not going to kill him. I said, this time he's serious. <laughs> so I took him to my house. So he also went to my house. Before he went, he saw my brother going out. My brother asked him, where's Obo? He said, oh, I, I, he came, he left me at uh, Lido. So I talked to him, he came home. He's not here. He said, you're lying. I know he's hiding somewhere. Tell him he should bring my pants back. Kaku <laughs> said, yeah, I'll tell him. He said, what pants am I going to bring? I destroyed already. So when Kwaku told me that he was he went out, I went home and my mother started yelling at me. Why did you do that? Why didn't you ask him? He can give you another fans. But this new fans he hasn't worn before. I said, he won't give me when I ask him. He said, but why did you take it? You know, that's stealing. You, I'll talk to him when my mother said, I'll talk to him when he comes. I said, I'll pay him when I get paid. I'll pay him. But then I was talking to my mom, who was sitting there, and then my brother walked in, uh, and my legs were shaking, everything was, and then he looked at me and said, why didn't you ask me? He asked me that nicely. My brother has never known how to talk to people nice. But that day he said, why Why didn't you ask me? What you did, the past that I was going to go to, he's a Muslim. He was going to go to a salah today with, you know, you took it without telling, telling him. I know you just started playing the band, you need a pants. You go, but why didn't you ask me? I said, well, I, I didn't think you were going to give me, but I'll pay you. He said, do, do you know how much money you're going to make and you're going to pay me? He said, stop, stop, stop. You know, and my mother was surprised because he's, he's screaming in the house before I came. I think I don't, somebody talked to him, or I don't know. But and he said, okay, well, you know. Um, and I was wearing it. He said, hey, look at what you did, you know. And, uh, 
we sat down with my mother and we talked. If there's anything at all, you should come and ask me. My mother was saying that. Oh, ask him, you know. And I, I, I apologize that I won't do anything like that. And I said, believe me, I'll pay you. And uh, I said,